Second Samuel chapter number 9 and verse 1 and 4. Yes, the Bible says, Yes, tunasoma pamoja, alafu tunaketi. Hii, vile mutasoma diyo itanipatia molaro ya kumpatia nafasi ya kuketi chini. Kwa sababu hata mimi nahubiri kama nimesimama. Kwa hivyo, vile mutavyo kapyo soma kwa, kwa sauti, livyo itafanya, niweza kumpatia nafasi ya kuketi chini. One, two, three. Is there anyone still left of the house of Saul to whom I can show kindness for Jonathan's sake? Verse 2. Now, the servant of Saul's household named Zima, they called him to appear before David. And the king said to him, And I use Zima, your servant, he replied. Verse 3. The king asked, is there no one still left of the house of Saul to whom I can show kindness? Ziba answered, There is still son of Jonathan. He is still crippled in both feet. And verse 4, King asked, Ziba answered, He is the house of Makil, son of Amniel, in law, Lord Iba. Now it's a Katie. Katika jina la Yesu. Give me Ezekiel that 7, 10, 14. Those are the scriptures that we are going to read. Iyo igina likuwa apetaiza. Asa, sasa diyo tunaingia kwa neno. Ezekiel that 7 and verses number. Ezekiel that 7 verse 10. Iwepotea. Yes, let's go there. Ezekiel, wale ya bawa na bibiria. Najua iki tunafikiri ili ili tufanya. Ata mimi kufugua bibiria wakati mungine. Lakini muna itegeneza, eh? Yes, Ezekiel chapter number 10, and verse, that 7, and verses number 10, the Bible says, So, oh, you make pika. Okay, thank you. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breathed entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet. A first, uh, uh, a first army, verse 11. Then he said to me, son of man, these, those, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. In verse 13, verse 12, I mean. Therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the suffering Lord says. Oh my people, I am going to open your gates, graves, and bring, up, bring you up from them. I will bring you back the land of Israel. In verse 13, then, then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and bring you up from them. And verse 14. I will put my spirit in you. And you will live. And I will say to you in your own land. Then you will know that I the Lord have spoken. And I have done it. Declares the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Nataka kusema. Nataka kusugumuza uhusu. Ujube mfupi sana. Na upao tunaweza elewa. Wada kikachache. Ni, ni seme. Ni, ku, ni ulize. Kama vile Daudi ya navyo uliza. Is there anyone still? Left. Praise the name of the Lord. Is there anyone? Is there anyone still left? Ebuge uki alie karibu na wewe umulize. Wewe ni mmoja wa wale abawa na ulizwa. Mulize kwa guvu na kwa, na kwa furaha. Si umefa mask. Yes, mulize kwa guvu na kwa. Ini, mulize. Unajua muka ubari sa sauti ni kubwa. Sasa muka ubari. Nasima toe sauti. Yes, sauti kubwa. Yes, unamuliza swali. Wewe ni umoja. Muliza tena. Wewe ni umoja wa wale abawa na ulizwa. Anasema aje. Hapana. Anasema hapana. Anasema aje. Ni umoja wa wale abawa na ulizwa. Anasema hapana. Eh? Anasema hapana. Is there anyone? left hii swali inaonyesha kulikuwa na watu wengi wageulishwa na wagepatikana lakini kulingana na hii swali na kulingana na Daudi mwenyewe aliuliza he was very specific praise the name of the lord very specific Hakuwa anahitaji kila mtu. Hakuwa anahitaji mtu wa aina yoyote. 
na hakuwa na hitaji mtu hivi hivi kuna watu kuna mtu aliyemta mtaja aliyekuwa anamtaka na siku ya leo katika maombi haya ambayo tunayoyaomba na katika mwaka huu wa divine restoration and renewal and enlargement Mungu wetu anauliza kuna mtu ambaye amebaki katika nyumba yake kuna mtu ambaye amebaki wa kumgojea Bwana kama vile Daudi alivyosema katika Zaburi 40 ya kwamba nilimgojea Bwana kwa subira ikitu ikitu na straight na straight kuna mtu ambaye amebaki Nimwonyeshe matendo mema. Nilisema siku ya Jumapili ya kwamba nilishughumuza sana mambo ya masi ama lehema ama fadhili. Lehema ni kendo ambalo haukustahili kulipata inarudia kwa wale ambao hatukuwa pamoja na wao. Wale ambao tunasahau. Na kwa hivyo Tendo kama hili halitendwi na mwanadamu. Ni Mungu analitenda. Mungu akikuhurumia, Mungu akikuonyesha fadhili zake, anaguza mtu mwingine, huyo mtu hawezi kukuonyesha masi. Hawezi kukuonyesha rehema. Ile anakuonyesha ni matendo mema. Kindness. Are we together? Kwa hivyo mimi siwezi kukuhurumu It is only God who can have mercy on you. Are we together? That we may not confuse this. Mtu Mungu anapokuonyesha lehema anaguza mtu na mtu yule anakuonyesha matendo mazuri, matendo mema anakuonyesha. Na kwa hivyo katika text about tulisoma tumesoma chapter Samuel chapter number 9 Mungu aliguza Mungu alihurumia alihurumia Mephibosheth Alipo muhurumia Alipo muhurumia akaguza Daudi kwa sababu Daudi ndiye alikuwa katika nafasi ya kumuonyesha ama kumuonyesha matendo mema. Are we together? Kila wakati Mungu anapokuonyesha lehema zake, anaguza mtu kama mahitaji kazi. Mungu anaguza mtu ambaye apo karibu na nafasi ambayo unataka. Ama hitaji ambalo unalitaka. Are we together? kama kijana ameshidwa na maneno ya kunena akitaka kuposa dada anaonyeshwa ana Mungu anamuonyesha tu mtu ambaye watafukukana roho na hata bila kujua ataanza kubatiwa mistari sio kila mtu utaonyeshwa bwana ifiwe mtoto wetu wa, wa kwanza alipokojeka misos mimi nilijua misos mtu huoswa na uwe, uwe, unajua ile ile mchaga ya ya, ya mol hapo wanajua mol huko mtu alikuwa na ama yujin ilisema tuko lepo moja na yeye sasa tunahitaji lehema za bwana si, unajua hiyo hiyo peni mlikuwa mnafanya hivi mlikuwa mnafanywa hivi So, huku Nairobi tulikuwa Kagami wakati huo. Huku huku Kagami Nairobi unapata wapi hiyo mchaga? So, sijui mkawagu wako anajua mambo ya misos, lakini alipeleka mtoto wa kadugu shindano ya misos, lakini hakujua misos na kuaga namna. Lakini mimi kwa sababu nimeza, kuna watoto wa zimezaliwa nyuma yangu, niliona wakigojeka misos vile wanakaa. So, kwa sababu hatukua hatukua hatukujua ni nini? Kuna mtu alipigia simu, sio kila mtu alipigia. Na kamuliza ninaona mtoto wako hivi na hivi. Akirogeki nikivuku. 
Na kitu kila kama aikonia kama alikuwa amedugwa sida sio kila mtu alihitaji mtu wa kumsaidia mambo ya misos angeuliza mambo ya homa praise the name of the lord ni nini nataka kusema nataka kuingiza kile ambacho nakuambia Mungu anapokuonyesha rehema zake anakupati anapatia wale ambao tunaita eh, destiny connect connectors naona anakuconnect na mtu na una unasuruhishiwa shida yako praise the name of the lord and this is what happened during this time hii ndio ilifanyika wakati huu wa Daudi wakati wa kuonyeshwa rehema ulikuwa umefika wa huyu mtu alikuwa anaitwa Mephibosheth lakini maisha yake haijamruhusu ende ukiangalia the description ambayo Simba anapatiana ni description ambayo mtu yeyote hawezi igia katika ikuru in the in the in the, in the Jews kacha mtu ambaye alikuwa anaigia katika ikuru awe mfarume ni mtu ambaye alikuwa mzima katika mwili ukiwa na di, na deformity yoyote ya mwili haukuwa unaruhusiwa na kwa hivyo katika custom ya Israeli ama tradition zao ni kwamba kama kuna mtu katika nyumba ya kifarume yule mfanyikazi the servant ndiye alikuwa anapatiwa nafasi hiyo na kwa hivyo ziba hakuwa na makosa yeyote alielewa utamaduni wao na kwa hivyo alijitafutia nafasi ya yeye lakini mipango ya Mungu sio mpango wa mwanadamu Ziba alikuwa anafikiria anatafutwa mtu wa nyumba ya Israeli ndio akabadhiwe mamlaka he missed the mark praise the name of the lord i pray the enemy of your life may miss the mark i pray the enemy of your life may miss the mark the enemy of this year may miss the mark ziba was in the context but he missed the mark may the enemy of your life miss the mark anaweza kuwa katika context inayofaa lakini naomba akakosejia mwafaka na kina mpango ulio mwema wa Mungu katika maisha yako ziba alikosa alikuwa katika context mzuri lakini alikosa praise the name of the lord na kwa hivyo akapatia na description zote na kila Daudi alikuwa anatafuta ndicho alifuatilia sio description ya mtu ah praise the name of the lord let me come closer ili iweze kuingia vizuri Mungu haangalii description yako anaangalia ndani yako praise the name of the lord Zimba alipatiana description vizuri and it was good it was true ya kwamba mephibo the mephibo said was crippled both legs it was true na alikuwa na hisi kijiji ilikuwa bari ambayo haikuwa inajulikana but david was not looking mtu ambaye ni kripo kwa sababu mpango wa mungu haukuwa ambao ulikuwa waziba bwana asifiwe sana god was not looking for a king only there was a king but ziba thought ya kwamba this is the time maybe to rewind the house of saul praise the name of the lord the plan of god is to give you hope and future and the devil does not know your future praise the name of the lord he does not know the plan of god in your life oh what he does is to try to pray with your context mahali ulipo you are surrounding ndio anajaribu kucheza nayo tunatangaza mwaka huu atacheza na surrounding zetu praise the name of the lord atacheza na watoto wetu atacheza na waume wetu atacheza na wake wetu atacheza na biashara zetu atacheza na kazi zetu we are we are focused mwaka huu tuko focused mwaka huu elio zetu ziko juu tunaelewa bila hewa inasema tunaelewa bila bingu inasema bingu inasema mara nyingine tena mungu yuko tayari kutuonyesha rehema zake if you are ready if you are already there mungu anatafuta wewe na biblia inauliza 
It's the earth. Anyone who is left. Is there because Is there anyone? Is there anyone? I'm by I'm a party. Ana uliza is there anyone? Ambaye amebaki katika nyumba ya Mungu niweze kumconnect na mtu ambaye amebeba destiny yake katika jina la Yesu na na, 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 na katika mwaka huu ambao tunaosema it is a near of divine restoration and renewal the the the, 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 the life of my people said was renewed may your life be renewed when you are talking of renewal tunasema ya kwamba you are, you are, your lifespan is extended. Hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Your lifespan is extended. To see the goodness of the Lord. To confirm the words of David in the book of Psalms. I will live, I will not die. I will live to declare the goodness of the Lord. May you live to declare the goodness of the Lord in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. To declare the goodness of the Lord in your business. To declare the goodness of the Lord. Katika ulezi wa watoto wako. Katika jina la Yesu. When we are talking of divine restoration. When we are talking of divine restoration. And we are talking of few things. We are talking of few things. Number one. It is a season. Of recovery. Say amen. It is a season of recovery. The plan of God. In my people. My people said his life. Was to recover. His life. Back to normal. Praise, praise the name of the Lord. May you recover. May you recover in Jesus mighty name. It is a season of recovery. May this be your season of recovery. May you recover. Daudi wakati mmoja alipotoka vita akakuta watoto wao wake wao wamechukuliwa na no Filisti kabla hajaondoka aliuliza Mungu nitaniwafuate na nikiwafuata ili alikuwa nayo ya muhimu ni alimuuliza will I recover everything that I have taken from us praise the name of the Lord and God told him go and you recover everything Praise the name of the Lord. May you recover every day. Praise the name of the Lord. It is a season. Number two. It is a season of standing again on your feet. It is a season of standing up on your feet after a period of humiliation. Praise the name of the Lord. 2019 we were humiliated. But this year it is a year of renewal. After humiliation. After interruption of, the, of, of, of our of our calendar this year god is ready to raise you up again ah am i speaking to people that are ready to be raised up again praise the name of the lord i am ready to be raised up again the interruption is about to be led to a mimi kuna kitu moja ambayo nime na nipia nimeambia mke wangu na nimeambia pigiria hata nimeambia adikon adugona ah recently wakati tulipokuwa naye kwa office Nimemwambia kuna kitu ambayo nilihitaji kuwa nayo in 2009. Haikufanyika. This year ina claim kutoka juu na chini. It is a year of recovery. I'm going to recover. I'm going to recover whatever I was to be. This year itakuwa. Praise the name of God. It is not by might, nor by power, but by the spirit of God. It is a year of recovery. It is a year of raising up again. And standing on our feet of the period of humiliation. Ah, praise the name of the Lord. Number three. It is a season where the divine heart of God will control your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Where we have read in the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter that seven and verses number ten. We see God telling Ezekiel, that my right hand is with you. Now prophesy to these dry bones and see what I will do to you. Praise the name of the Lord. I will give you a chance to give you a chance. 
So this year, when we are talking about restoration, don't forget, it is a year that the divine hand of God will control your life. May the heart of God control your life throughout this year. When God is controlling your life, utapitia katika moto na moto hautakuchoma. Utapitia katika maji mengi, maji mengi hautakugarikisha. Do you know when the divine of God is upon you? Your life is safe. You are secure. Why? If you read the book of Daniel, you will see the three men that we read, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They knew that the heart of God is in, uh, on their life. Na wakabia mfarme, wacha ijurikane, ata mungu huyo tunaye mtumikia, kama hada tuokoa, wewe tuweke kwa moto. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati mkono wabwana, uko juwa, juu yako. Ata upite kwa moto, moto haita kuchoma. The Bible says, walipu weko kwa moto, walika pale na mungu, akatuma wa mtu wa ine, akawasunguka. Walipu kuwa wakitoka, walitoka ata nyumere zao, na nguo zao, asikunuka moto. Ata moshi. Why? Because God sent a the man to protect their life. When the divine heart of God is on your life, the divine protection is your portion. Praise the name of the Lord. Watu wataona kama umekwisha, lakini utatokea ukiwa na nguvu zaidi. Praise the name of the Lord. When you are talking of divine restoration and renewal, we are saying it is a season of prophetic move. It is a season of prophetic move. People, but when the siku hizo amini, mambo ya prophetic, uh, mambo ya prophecies. But, ni kwa sababu imetumika vibaya. Mimi najua ni kisimama kwa madabau haya. I have never used, I have never misused that office of a prophet. But this year, I declare and prophesy to you, this year is a prophetic, is a season of a prophetic move. Praise the name of the Lord. The things that we are going to declare, the things that you have already declared, stafanyika na statedeka. Why? Because in the restoration time, there must be a prophet to declare good things in your life. And this year I declare to you, katika jina la Yesu, mambo ambayo umeobe umeoba, na utayaoba mwezi huu, ya kameze kutimirika, na kutendeka, katika jina la Yesu. Mungu aogose maisha yako. Mungu akabirie, akabia, akabia, aweze kupigana, na maandui, wana wakuleta chini. This is a season of prophetic mover. Praise the name of the Lord. It is a season of a prophetic mover. It is a season number five. Is it number five? Yes, it is a season of receiving all spiritual blessings as it is in the book of Ephesians chapter number one and verses number three and verse, verse number 11. It is a season after, after being a prophetic move. In the season of the prophetic, prophetic move, you have to receive the spiritual blessings because prophecy comes from the Lord. Bwana mm, sana. Unambi watoka kwa bwana. Hautoki kwa mwanadamu. Watoka kwa bwana. Na kwa hivyo, waadamana na baraka zote za kiroho. Praise the name of the Lord. Some of these blessings are like to have a privilege to, uh, of the benefits of knowing God. One of the blessings that comes with the with, with these spiritual blessings and this move ni kwamba tuna privilege ya ku ya ku ya ku kubari ya kushika zile baraka za kumjua Mungu when you know God wakati umemjua Mungu waweza kuelewa ya kwamba Mungu si adui ni rafiki yako praise the name of the Lord yeye yeah, ndiye anatuambia katika kitabu cha cha cha, cha, cha madhio tuko gagonge atatufungulia tutafute ata, tutapata praise the name of the Lord Anatuambia katika kitabu cha Yohana ya kwamba chochote utakacho ombe na tuamini atatupatia ili aweze kutukuza mwanawe. Praise the name of the Lord. These are the blessings that I'm talking about. These are the benefits that I'm talking about. The benefit of knowing God. Praise the name of the Lord. When watoto wangu walipojuelewa ya kwamba baba yao hawezi kosa kitu chochote. Hawana uoga wa kumkanya. Hawana uoga wa kumwambia kile wanataka. Praise the name of the Lord. 
my mother my parents ambao wamenizaa hawawezi kuwa na courage ambayo ina watoto wangu kunielezea mambo yao huyu nimemwoa akiwa na meno 32 lakini ile courage yako nayo kuingia kwangu hata mama yangu hana ni kweli wewe courage ile uko nayo naingia kwake ni kweli na utakabili mtu anachezea area hiyo ni kweli that's how I'm, I'm trying to give you an example so that you may understand what I'm talking about are we together when these are the spiritual blessings ya kwamba tunaelewa Mungu wetu vile alivyo anasema ya kwamba in the book of in the book of in the book of Psalms 115 ya kwamba yeye ni muumba hizi zingine miungu yote ni kuubwa ili ubwa lakini yeye ana masikio na anasikia ukienda kwake anakusikia hivyo ndivyo bibi inasema lakini miungu hii mingine haina ina masikio haisikii ina macho haioni bwana asiwe sana kwa hivyo una, unakuwa na benefit ya kujua ya kwamba unapomwambia kama vile tumesoma katika uh, katika um, uh, Psalm 7 and verse, Psalms 9 and verse 13 Yakoba bwana tazama maandui wangu vile wanavyoniteza anatazama. Bwana asifiwe. Sit together. Unapomwambia hivyo anatazama. Yeye ana macho na anaona. Naomba Mungu mwaka huu aweze kuona. Mambo yako yale yanakusumbua. Another blessings is that we are called we are chosen for the salvation. We are chosen. Another blessings you can get them from verse 3 to verse 11 the book of Ephesians, Ephesians 1 it is we are chosen being chosen for salvation si 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 kusukumwa tunasukumwa niangalia vizuri one some of the best the blessings sio kusukumwa tujuane na Mungu we are chosen to be the sons and daughters of God we are chosen in this year of restoration tunaambia Mungu those spiritual blessings are our portion. Hallelujah. Hatutakuwa na uoga tunapoenda kumwabia mambo yetu. Hatutakuwa na uoga kwa sababu ya chosen. We are adopted as his sons and daughters. And the other thing, the other blessing is that after adoption our sins are forgiven. Praise the name of the Lord. See our my sins are forgiven. See my sins are forgiven. If you read Psalms 103 in a, is it 103 or 105 103 inasema ya kwamba my soul do not forget all the benefits that you got or that you get from the Lord one of them is all my sins are forgiven praise the name of the Lord he forgives our sins we are no longer sinners in the presence of the Lord if you believe in him you are no longer a, a, you, are, you, are, you are no longer a sinner in the presence of the lord the other one is to receive the gifts of the spirit and the power number the other thing is to receive the power to do god's will or fulfill his purpose in our lives praise the name of the lord unajua kuna mtu ambaye ameokoka he has never fulfilled them in the purpose ya kuokoka kwake naomba mwaka huu tuweze ku receive these spiritual gifts ambazo za kufanya to fulfill our purposes the purpose of our calling praise the name of the lord the purpose of our calling ninaomba katika jina la yesu na hata mimi ninaomba mungu anisaidie sana niweze kufulfill my purpose of calling praise the name of the lord kuna waume wengine ambao haja fulfill purpose zao za kuwa baba na, na wanaume wa mtu this year ni vizuri kufulfill some of the purposes praise the name of the lord kuna watoto ambao wamekomaa wame 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 wamekomaa wameajiliwa but they have not fulfilled their purposes to be sons and daughters wa mzazi fulani naomba mwaka huu Mungu wetu akageuze milango ile praise the name of the lord ya kwamba watoto wetu wakaweza kufulfill not only the purpose of the calling in Christ but also the purpose of being born in a certain family mm, praise the name of the lord hata sisi bwana asifiwe sana mwaka huu hata ninasema wale ambao pekina hatujapeleka mali hata shiriki moja tupelekee hata kama wazazi hawako tupelekee ndugu zao ndugu za dada zetu 
kuwaita wake wetu hata kwa sababu tulikataa kupeleka wakati baba na mama walikuwa hai sasa sikuliwe na watu ambao hana baraka zako uende hasala lakini utimize lakini naomba mwaka huu Mungu akaguze wanaume waliookoka wasiookoka wakalipie wake wao mahali katika jina la Yesu These are the purposes I'm talking about Kuolewa sio jambo hapa duniani it is a spiritual thing it was ordained in the garden of eden yes praise the mabolo ni kuichezea tunaichezea ga hivyo it is the only institution ambayo mungu ali declare blessings hizi zingine alikuwa anatuma malaika wakati mwingine inawaka moto praise the mabolo hizi zingine alikuwa anatuma malaika akitaka kuleta mkobozi ah wacha mchezo akitaka kuleta mkobozi Yesu Kristo alituma malaika lakini katika saba la Edeni alijipeleka mwenyewe akaambia Adamu na Ivu nimembariki kutoka siku ya leo go subdue go multiply mm hiyo ingine alisema nini Nilikuwa tatu hiyo ingine ni gani subdue multiply and and rule praise the name of the Lord those were the words of God not an angel not a prophet Ah usicheze doa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Usicheze mme wako ama mchezo mme wa, mke wako. Ah hata ukipata mtu wa kukua meli, usicheze ule kijana. Kodi usicheze meli. Sio jambo rahisi ni la Mungu. Bwana ili zira malaika. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unaona vile mnaniangalia? Ukijua vile sasa utaenda kuambia mme wako. Pastor vile alisema. Mwambie ni pastor alisema. Mali zipele na kama mzazi wako wako hai mpelekea kule akiwa hai edi ana baraka naomba Mungu anipe hata mimi sijapeleka lakini mimi zangu nilipeleka kiasi wewe wewe nilipeleka kiasi Niri, si nilipeleka kiasi sijafanya harusi kama sijapeleka kiasi si ni kweli kwa sababu yetu si ile ya ku nini yes yetu ilikuwa ya kanisa so ningepeleka sikifanya hivyo kama sijapeleka kitu nataka kuogeza mwaka huu nataka kuogeza kwa sababu wazazi hao wako hai those are the purposes that i'm talking about and these are the restorations ambazo na ongea mambo yake you can feel ya kwamba sisemi kitu lakini nataka kukuambia kwamba these are the things that hinders our progress that hinders our success they are blessings that come from the church they are blessings that come from our pastors they are blessings that come from our parents praise the name of god and these blessings are important in our lives you cannot live without them lakini saa ingine twajisukumia wacha kujisukumia wacha maisha yako ijipeleke mwaka huu wacha maisha yako ijipeleke kwa sababu ni mwaka wa restoration ni mwaka wa renewal Mungu akikurinio maisha yako chukua kafete pelekea ule mama mwambie nunua kasukari anaongezewa kama alikuwa amebakisa mwaka anaongezewa miezi ingine tano Bwana asiwe sana na wewe unaongezewa miaka mingi, mingi. wacha niziende hiyo jia kwa sababu Biblia inasema ya kwamba tutii wazazi wetu. Na? Naishi. Na ndio naona kuna watu ambao wanaishi miaka mia na. Ukijaribu kuuliza maisha yao, they were very genuine their parents. I pray this year as a year of renewal, may God renew the spirit of genuineness katika relationship zetu na watu wa kweli. Praise the name of the Lord. May God renew our our relationships na ndugu zetu na dada zetu Praise the name of Allah. Hadi sasa nilikuwa wapi? Mungu wangu. So what we are saying these blessings are not they are eternal they are not temporal. Bwana asifiwe. When you receive these blessings here on earth you will also go with them in heaven. But today if if God restores your life mambo yote ambayo amekubariki nayo ukikufa unayacha wapi ah mwadhani ya gosho but these spiritual blessings they are eternal they are not temporal praise the name of the lord it is a season where the other one it is a season where our lifespan where our, our lifespan lifespan is extended beyond our ability praise praise the name of the lord wakati ambapo tunapoogea mambo ya renewal and 
and a renewal and restoration. We are saying it's a time of extension. Beyond our ability, beyond our capability, beyond our knowledge. Kwa sababu watu wengine tunajanganya. Yakoba tuna uweso wa kuishi maisha. Dore yo doe goto. Doe goto ora. Doe goto ora. You don't know how to live. God knows, shows, how, shows you how to live. You don't know how to live. It is a time, it is a beyond our resources. Sometimes we see that we have resources. We don't need, even sometimes we don't need God. But this time loud, inakuabia kama mutumishu wa mungu. This season is going to be renewed and restored beyond your resources. How, what your resources can do. This restoration. Praise the name of the Lord. It is, a, it is a time, it is a season that our lifespan is extended beyond our wealth and riches. Even if I can put it beyond our, our poverty, if we have poor people. Praise the name of the Lord. It is beyond your imagination. It is beyond your strength and thinking. Praise the name of the Lord. May God restore your life. May God renew your life. Beyond your strength and thinking. Praise the name of the Lord. No wonder mungu anambia ezekiri. Ulifikiri nitaleta tu watu. Nita, nita, nitaleta mifupaire. Nitaileta pamoja. In Ezekiel 7. Ulifikiri ata makaburi. Verse number 11 ya namuambia. Ata makaburi. Nita ya fungua. Na niweke watu hawa uhai. Nitakapo fanya hivyo. Mutajua ya kwamba mimi ni mungu. Nataka ni jue mungu wangu bile alivyo. Mbaka watu wengine waseme. Kweli pastor mwangi ana mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Nataka watu waseme kanisa na tumaini. Kuna mungu anaishi. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you know that wakati wa Elisha. Wakati ya lipo enda. Wakati ya lipo, uh, lipo kuwa na wanaomba. Elija, Elija anaomba, anaomba mungu wake. Nao miungu ya bari inaomba. Inaomba, inaomba, inaomba miungu yao. Manabi wa mbali wanaomba miungu yao. Kina, wali, kina da, uh, erija alisema, ni kwaba wacha ijulikane. Ya kwaba wewe ni mungu wangu, na sio tu mungu wangu, wewe ni mungu wa Israeli. Mm, praise the name of the Lord. Wacha mungu wako ajulikane. Ya kwaba sio mungu wako tu, lakini hata mungu wa kanisa lako. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I, show you, can I show you how life lifespan is uh, in our gazwa? Yes, if you read the book of Genesis chapter number 21, verse 15, 20, very quickly. Genesis 21, very quickly. In the book of uh, Genesis, chapter number 21, verse 15, 20, very quickly. Genesis 21, verse 15, 20, verse 15. This is the time of Ishmael and Haga. When Wakati Abraham, alipo tuma mtoto huyu. Bibi nasema ya kwamba when the water, can you give me verse 14? Give me verse 14. Then. Yes, early the next morning, Abraham took some food and a skin of water and gave them to Haga. Haga was a mother of two. Ishmael, isn't it? You know the story of Ishmael and Haga in the house of, the house of Abraham, isn't it? Yes, let me not go to, uh, uh, deep to it. Lakini, ukitaka kusoma, utaida kusoma iyo sura yote. Lakini hapa inataka kwenyesha. He set them on her shoulders and then sent them her off with a boy. With a boy. She went on her way and wandered in the desert of Beersheba. Mm -hmm. When the water in the skin was gone, she put the boy at the one of the bushes. Then she went off and sat down nearby, about a bow shot away. How do you know that? nini? Mushare. Sini kweli. Kwa hivyo, haku wakaribu sana. Kwa sabu mushare unaheda baadi. Sini kweli. For she thought, I cannot watch the boy. So the life of the boy was in danger. Praise the name of the Lord. The life of the boy was in danger. Because everything ambayo walipatiwa. Iliiza katika jagwa. Wakitafuta mahali pakutulia. 
wakitafuta mahali walikuwa wanaenda na ilipoisha tumaini lao likaisha wakaona wamefika mwisho na siku ya leo nataka kusugumuzia mtu ambaye maisha yake imefika mwisho ile ambacho alikuwa nacho kimefika mwisho pengine umefika katika ibada ya siku ya leo niweze kukwambia maneno haya ya kwamba Mungu anayejua kuchibua visima anaweza chibua kisima chako hata wakati ambapo hata mfuko yako imeisha kila kitu katika jina la Yesu and the bible says and she sat there nearby she began to hope ni kufanya nini hmm? kulia si ni kweli akaanza kulia kwa sababu mtoto takula kimeisha hata yeye takula kimeisha lakini verse 16 then verse 16 17 I mean God had the boy crying and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her what is the matter Hagar do not be afraid God has heard the boy crying as he lies there then verse 18 rip the boy up and take him by the hand or I will make him into a great nation In verse number 19 Then God then God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water so she went and filled the skin with the water and gave the boy a drink Praise the name of the Lord Naomba Mungu huyu akaweza kufugua macho yako na akaweze kukuonyesha kisima ambacho akionekana na watu wengine hata wewe huko umekiona Unaona kukosekana kwako, unaona uko, ukosefu wako, unaona udhaifu wako. May God open a well for your life. Katika jina la Yesu. Mwaka huu ninakuombea Mungu akafungue kisima cha maisha yako. Some of the things that we need to understand wakati ambapo Mungu ameonyesha rehema katika maisha yako kama huyu kama huyu Mephibosheth. You are still in Mephibosheth's case. It is that you are number one. It was number one, like number one. Number one. Your status, background and life that does not matter. When God shows mercy, huh? When God shows mercy in your life. When God shows mercy at, in a, in a church. Their status, their background, their lifestyle does not count that's not matter. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Naomba Mungu akakuonyesha rehema zake. Kama vile Mungu alionyesha rehema zake kwa Mephibosheth. Na akaweza na hata 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 descriptions about silitolewa. Asikufanya yeye akoze kurejeshewa maisha ya baba yake. Praise the name of the Lord. Your background hata kama hujasoma when mercy speaks When mercy of God is in your life your background does not matter your education does not matter you are you are nani unajuana na yeye katika Kenya hii does not matter Mungu anaweza kukufungulia mlango wote ambao anataka uingie ndani ninaomba ya kwamba rehema za Bwana zikaweza kuwa juu yako Praise the name of the Lord Hallelujah Ina dada mmoja hapa Sunday alikuja kaniambia ako hapa Kaniambia kwa pastor mimi nimeshagana Mungu wangu. Mimi sio wa hapa lakini Mungu amenipatia kazi ambayo ilikuwa inatafutwa na watu wengi. Praise the name of the Lord. Walifanywa interview kwa watu wengi. Yeye akapatiwa kazi na sio wa hapa. Na yeye hajafanya degree, yeye hajafanya masters lakini wale alikuwa anafanya interview na wao. Walikuwa na ma degree na walikuwa na masters. Yeye amefanya diploma. Diploma. Si Mungu ni waajabu. Wesi tumikia Mungu when mercy iko juu ya maisha yako. We, wakati Mungu amekubali kukuonyesha rehema, anakukutanisha na mtu anaingiana na wewe. Hataki kuangalia sura yako. Hataki kuangalia masomo yako. Anasikia ndani yake akiambiwa ni huyu tulikuwa tunagoja. Atielewa wewe ni nani hata akikuja kwenu hawezi kubali kukaa dakika tano. Lakini Mungu anakukonekti na mtu 
ambaye ataingia pale mwanako. Haleluya. Wakati mle hema za Bwana siko juu ya maisha yako. Ninaomba le hema za Bwana sikaweze kuwa juu ya maisha yetu. Sikaweze kuwa juu ya maisha yako. Unaweza kuwa umetembea miaka mingi lakini wakati Mungu amekuonyesha le hema your background does not count. Your lifestyle does not count. Hmm, praise the name of the Lord. Where you have come from does not count. Wewe umezaliwa na nani does not count. Does not count. Wakati Mungu alitaka mtoto wake wa kipekee azaliwe alete ulimwengu, alete uokovu kwa ulimwengu. Mungu ulikuwa na wadada wasomi. Ulikuwa na wadanda wasuri, walikuwa wa upalme, lakini Mungu alitafuta mtu wa kijiji Mary the mother of Jesus praise the name of the Lord mpaka naauliza malaika itakuwaje na hata yule mtu ambaye ameniposa hata hana kitu abiwa or nothing is impossible with God nothing is impossible with God wakati mwaka huu nataka kutembea na watu ambao watasema or nothing is impossible with God number two. You are journey when the mercy of God is upon you. You are journey of recovery. You are journey of renewal. You are journey of healing. You are journey of restoration is set on. In an If you read the book of Luke chapter number 38 and that, uh, verse number 39. Luke, it is Luke. It is not, it's not, uh, it is not this one. Luke, not Samuel. But it is Luke chapter number 18. Luke chapter number 18 ambayo mama yule ambaye alikuwa ametumia pesa zake zote kwa matumishi ya mwili wake na ugojwa haukwisha lakini aliposikia Yesu wa Nazareth anapita akasema huyu Yesu nataka kuguza vazi lake praise the name of the lord and the journey of her recovery started although hatusomi mambo yake tena lakini naamini ya kwamba zile kwa sababu ametaja alitumia mali zake zote na ugonjwa haukwisha na filia ya kwamba Mungu alirejeza mali zake praise the name of the lord kwa sababu alitaja maneno hayo mbele ya Yesu your journey of recovery inaanzisha and number three, when mercy wakati lehema adhiri za Bwana siko juu yako all protocols become irrelevant and you receive the favor of God. This is special favor. All protocols becomes irrelevant. And you receive special favor. I pray that you may receive special favor in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you may receive special favors in the name of the Lord. Favor. Ni jabu wabalo. Atukuwa tunastahili. Lakini mungu anatupatia tu hivyo. Kwa sababu alia, uh, malaika aliyabia Hana, aliyabia Mary, you are hired, favored. You are hired, favored. Because the mercy of God ilikuwa mjuu yake. Padhiri za Bwana rehema zake zilikuwa zimeanguka katika maisha yake. Praise the name of the Lord. And your Mungu kwanza alimpatanisha na, na Yusufu, hata Yusufu ambaye anajua kusikiza Bwana. Kwa sababu alipotaka kumuacha alitokewa usiku kwa doto na akaambiwa huyo mlembo usimuache ili amembemba itakusaidia hata wewe katika maisha yako praise the name of the lord may you be highly may you be highly favored in jesus mighty may you be highly favored and number 4 your sins sins are forgiven and our prayers are at hand and answered when the mercy of God is upon our lives. Finally, our sins are forgiven. And our, our prayers are hard. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 1, verse 12, if you can, very quickly. Mewadikia yo. Mewapatia yo. Sins are forgiven, and our prayers are hard and answered. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse number 1, verse 12. When Solomon finished praying, Fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. My point is, when some when Solomon finished praying, Aripo Marisha Maombi Yake. In Mustariwa Kumi, Nataka Mustariwa Kwanza. 
Alafu ulete hiyo apili. Yes, alipomaliza kuomba moto ukashuka mbinguni na ukateketesa adhabihu. Bwana asifiwe. Nataka mkamate hapa hiyo nimalize. Kwa sababu hii ya mwisho. Asomi ingine. Yakoba Solomon alipomaliza maombi, alikabla hakutoa kabla ya kuomba, alikuwa ametoa sadaka zake. Sasa sasa mnaweza kosa kusikiza kwa sababu nafikiri naye tisa sadaka. Si tisi sadaka. Sikiza vizuri, siku tisi sadaka. Lakini alitoa sadaka zake na akaziweka akaenda kado kuoba. Biblia inasema alipomaliza maombi sio katikati ya maombi alipomaliza maombi moto ukatoka binguni ukateketesa madhabahu ukateketesa zile dhabihu praise the lord it is after praying and doing and after doing all ambayo inahitajika mungu akafanya moto kutoka binguni ukateketesa dhabihu pengine alikuwa anataka kumaliza maombi aende akateketeze dhabihu kama ilivyokuwa desturi ya makuhani kuteketeza dhabihu praise the name of the lord lakini hii rehema za bwana zilikuwa juu ya maisha yake kwa hivyo ni lazima kugefanyika mambo ambayo ni extraordinary kwa sababu mtu huyu ako katika maombi praise the name of the lord na alikuwa katika hekalu aliyoitengeneza na Biblia inasema alipomaliza maombi baada ya kuhakisha moto Mungu aliyahakisha moto wake. Praise the name of Allah. Naomba Mungu akahakisha moto wake katika moyo wako. Kwa sababu moyo yetu ndio dhabihu yake. Ndio madhabahu yake. And verse 12 inasema Give me verse 12 you can and uh, we are done. The Lord appeared to him at night and said I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple of sacrifices. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mungu akamtokea usiku na akamwambia ya kwamba nimeteua nimechagua mahali hapa kuwa mahali pa maombi. Aka the word here is at night akamtokea na akamwambia nimesikia ulio yaomba nimesikia uliyoyaomba naomba Mungu akasikie mambo yako unayoyaomba katika jina la Yesu naomba Mungu akasikie unayoyaomba katika jina la Yesu naomba Mungu akasikie unayoyaomba katika jina la Yesu wacha tusimame na migu yetu and you give me the turn of the 13 verse number 18 simame na migu yetu Naomba rehema za Bwana siwe juu ya maisha yenu. Naomba rehema za Bwana siwe juu ya maisha yetu. Katika jina la Yesu. Deuteronomy bas Deuteronomy 13 18 nasema because you obey the Lord your God keep all the his commands I am giving you today and doing what is right in his eyes number that number, number the other one No give me uh, give me 17 give me 17 please Let's start with 17 Yes none of these uh, uh, condemned things will be found in your hands so that the Lord will turn from his fierce anger he will show you mercy have compassion on you and increase your number as he promised on oath to your forefathers and was a king because you obey the Lord your God keeping all his commands and uh, that all, all uh, that I am giving you today and doing what is right in his eyes now ba Mungu akusaidie kufanya mambo yote ambayo ni ya ni, 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 ni mazuri what is right in his eyes na tulisema ya kwamba mtu ambaye tunajifundisha na yeye ni ayubu ayubu alikuwa mtu mwelekevu mtu ambaye ni, ni mwelekevu mtu ambaye ni mtoa sadaka za bwana mtu ambaye ni muobaji mtu ambaye ni mwelekevu mtu ambaye ni upright mambo yote mazuri ambayo Mungu akahitaji ilikuwa ya kwake praise the name of the lord na inaomba Mungu aweze kukusaidia katika jina la Yesu niwa mkono wako mbele za bwana Mungu wetu, baba wetu katika jina la Yesu. Siku ya leo umesugumuza nasi. Kuhusu mtu ambaye anaitwa Mephibosheth. Na mtu huyu bwana alikuwa ametupwa na maisha yake ilikuwa kana kwamba haina tumaini. Lakini bwana ulipomuonyesha rehema katika maisha yake, 
matendo mazuri yalimfuata na ukamuonyesha Daundi akaweze kumtendea mambo mazuri hivyo bwana tunakuomba katika jina la Yesu siku ya leo bwana lehema zako zinapokuwa juu yetu utkaweze kutuonyesha watu ambao utakao tebea na wao katika jina la Yesu na ili maisha yetu yakabadilike na maisha yetu yakaweze kujengeka tunaomba mwaka huu bwana ukarejeshe maisha yetu na vitu ambazo bwana tulizipoteza wazazi wetu walipoteza Mungu wetu kwa sababu umesema ya kwamba katika Deuteronomy 13 verse 17 and 18 ni kwamba vitu ambazo uliapa uh, pamoja na, du, na, na, na baba na babu zetu Mungu wetu utasirejesha na kwa hivyo Mungu wetu unapotuhurumia mambo haya yatarejewa kwetu tunaomba ya kwamba bwana urejeshe wa maisha yetu tunaomba upya wa maisha yetu kwa sababu neno lako lasema ya kwamba wale ambao wako katika Kristo bwana ni viumbe vipya ya kale yamepita Tuombe ya kwamba Mungu wetu viumbe vipya zikaonekane katika maisha yetu. Tunapokuwa wapya katika maisha haya Bwana, pia au pia wa maisha yetu ya kawaida ikaonekane katika jina la Yesu. Twakuinua na twalibariki jina lako. Tunaombea kila mama, kila mzee, kila kijana aliye katika nyumba hii na kila mtoto aliyeakilishwa katika nyumba hii. Mungu wetu tunaomba ya kwamba uendeshe wa maisha Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Wengine wetu hatukusoma vizuri, lakini tuomba Bwana rehema zako zikaweze kuwa juu yetu. Watoto wetu wakasome vizuri. Wengine wetu Bwana hatukupata kazi ambayo ni amana na ya kupendeza. Lakini tuomba ya kwamba Bwana watoto wetu utaweza kuwakirimia mambo haya ni kwa sababu Bwana unaambia Israeli ya kwamba Mungu mambo ulio hapa kwa babu zao utayafikiza kwa watoto wao. Na kwa hivyo Mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu mambo ambayo hatukuyaona Bwana mambo ambayo wazazi wetu hawakuyapata Mungu wetu tukaomba kwa niaba yao Mungu wetu tukayapate katika jina la Yesu tukuomba tukiamini ni kwa Bwana utaturejeshea afya yetu Bwana utaturejeshea nguvu zetu wakati ambao tuko chini utaturejeshea Bwana wewe ndiye ulirejesha maisha ya Mephibosheth hata kama ziba alikuwa anafikiria ni yeye neno lako lasema katika Yeremia na tisa e kwa mpango ulio nao kwetu ni mpango ulio mzuri mpango wa kutupatia tumaini na maisha mazuri ya baadaye Mungu wetu akirimia na tuashika mistari hii tukikibia nayo katika jina la Yesu na tuasema ya kwamba tukitangazia maisha yetu tukitangazia zetani ya kwamba Mungu una mpango mzuri juu ya maisha maisha yetu mpango wa kutupatia tumaini toa tumaini la maisha katika mwaka huu toa tumaini la maisha katika mwaka huu toa tumaini la biashara toa tumaini la baba makazi katika jina la Yesu toa bwana tumaini kesho yetu ikawe nzuri kesho yetu inameremeka katika jina la Yesu Mungu nyota yetu Bwana ikaweza kumema kukunga katika maisha yetu. Yusufu alipouswa na ndugu zake. Ulehema zako zilikuwa juu yake. Na Bwana ulimuingiza katika nyumba ya mfalme. Yule ulikuwa unataka ajifundishe mambo ya kifalme, ama mambo ya ofisi katika jina la Yesu rehema zako bwana twakuomba mwaka huu sikaweza kuwa juu yetu katika jina la Yesu oh Mungu rehema zako sikaweza kuwa juu ya maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu hana alipokosa mtoto ulimuuganiza na mume wake aliyekuwa anamwambia sinakupenda kuliko vijana kumi baba wetu ninakuomba ukatubatia watu watufariji maisha yetu ambao watatuambia kuna kesho ambayo Mungu ataleta mwagaza katika jina la Yesu oh Mungu twaomba rehema zako sikaweze kuwa juu yetu katika jina la Yesu tunapotembea hema zako sikaweza kuwa juu yetu tunapokuwa manyumbani hema zako sikaweza kuwa juu yetu Mungu wetu hema zako silipoanguka juu ya mifo mefiboset haikujuri haikujarisha kama yeye ni kiwete hata neno lake linasema ya kwamba alikuwa kiwete miguu yote miwili haikujarisha kama yeye alikuwa kiwete 
ulisema ya kwamba ulitumia ya Daudi atasema aletwe ninataka kumrejeshea oh vitu vyote vilivyokuwa za nyumba ya, da, ya, ya Sauli ukataa inatajwa katika neno lako moja hapo ni mashamba iliyokuwa ya Sauli mali ilikuwa ya Sauli vitu vyote vilivyoitanishwa na Sauli siri siri hurudiwa siri chilejeshwa kwa mikono ya Mephibosheth hata kama Jonathani baba yake alikuwa amekufa hata kama babu yake Sauli alikuwa amekufa kuna wakati wa urejesho kuna nafasi ya urejesho na tunatangaza nafasi dio hii tunatangaza mwaka dio huu tunatangaza mwaka dio huu katika jina la Yesu sasa si wetu walipokuwa kitulea walituombea pengine maombi yale haikujibiwa ili fungiliwa hewani kama maombi ya Danieli na tunatangaza siku ya leo roho mtakatifu wa Mungu fungulia maombi yetu tuliyoyaomba na tuliyoomba katika jina la Yesu tunaomba madhabahu haya yakatumike kuchibu maombi ya watu wako yakatumike kurejesha mambo ya watu wako katika jina la Yesu yakatumike kurekuwa kurenew maisha ya watu wako kama vile ulivyo renew maisha ya Mephibosheth hata kama alikuwa kiwete aliingia katika ikuru na akasikia mfalme vile anavyoongea wakati Mungu amemtumia kuonyesha mtu mapendo mazuri waomba yakoba Mungu ukatuonyeshe mtu wa kutuotendea matendo mazuri katika maisha yetu Mengine wetu twajiuliza matendo haya itatusaidia na nini Mungu wetu tunaomba siku ya leo ikajulikana yakoba wewe ni Mungu unayeteda mambo mazuri kwa watu wako moyo wangu bwana unakulilia moyo wangu bwana unakuomba yakoba bwana ukashughulikie wa mama na wazee na watoto wetu na vijana wetu waume wa, na kivijana ukawashughulikie na ukawatendea bwana hatuwezi sahau ya kwamba wewe ndiye Mungu wetu hatuwezi sahau ya kwamba wewe watuonyesha mambo mazuri katika jina la Yesu hii ni sisho ni yetu bwana sisho ni yetu ya recovery bwana sisho ni yetu ya kukutana na baraka za kiroho katika jina la Yesu na tuamini ya kwamba bwana baada ya maombi haya utatutokezea na utatuambia umesikia maombi tuliyoyaomba kwa utukufu wa jina lako wiki hii tunapoianza bwana naomba utebee pamoja nasi Mungu wetu tunaombea maisha yetu naomba watakao safiri bwana usafiri pamoja na wao naomba wanapoenda kwa soko bwana ukawalide napoenda maofisini ukawalide wanapokuwa akinteract na watu ukawalide Mungu wetu mikono yao na miguu yao waendelea kuomba bwana isiguze mahali pana hatari na wakiguza mahali pana hatari rehema zako sikiwa juu yao hawatapata na hatari yoyote kwa sababu bwana ulinzi wako uko juu ya maisha yao inawaombea special favor katika jina la Yesu kibali cha kipekee inawaombea bwana katika jina la Yesu rida watu wako tetea watu wako bwana kwa utukufu wa jina lako ni katika jina la Yesu kaoba na kuamini amen amen tunaweza kesi kwa dakika moja